The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. When the disciples heard this, they were glad, greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men it is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on the, his throne of glory, will yourself sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or lands, for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more, and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. May dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Inner disposition matters a lot when we talk about the kingdom of heaven. And this is the point of Jesus in today's gospel. Every time he talks about the kingdom of heaven, encouraging people to aim for heaven, how to enter the kingdom of God in heaven, what is always important to Jesus is the inner disposition of every person. We are talking here about intention, attitude, inner attitude, conviction, motivation, or even vision. It's all about inner disposition. Kung ano ang nasa kalooban ng tao. Why this is so important? Because inner disposition will definitely bring out sincerity in all the things that we do. It will bring out genuineness in our intention, in our, in our motivation, conviction. Mahalaga po ito sapagat ito ang magiging pundasyon ng ating mga kilos, pundasyon ng ating salita at gawa. The inner disposition will serve to be the foundation, the source of our words and actions. If you notice in the first part, Jesus make use of the, the concept of a rich person. Well, definitely, being rich or the rich itself, the concept of the richness per se is not really evil. Jesus makes use of this concept to highlight this kind of human tendency that will truly distract our inner disposition and that is being so materialistic in our motivation if there is something that will really hinder us in forming our own disposition it's about being so materialistic yung pagiging yung yaman Kaya nga Jesus makes use of the concept of rich people. And he said very clearly that it would be very difficult for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. What makes it so difficult for a rich person? Again, being rich itself is not evil. We need material possessions as well. But Jesus is trying to tell us something that will truly hinder us if we make it a point that our disposition is becoming so materialistic. Yung tipong lahat na lang ng ginagawa natin, 
may katapat na material na bagay. Lahat na lang ng motivation ng kilos natin, lahat may kapalit na bayad. This is the human tendency. Yes, we have our own needs as well. But we have to be careful that we might end up to be so materialistic that even in all the things that we do, we always ask for something or payment in return. We have to be mindful of this. The last part of the gospel talks us, he mentioned about those who are first will be last and the last will be first. Ano nga bang ibig niyang sabihin nito? Again, something to do with disposition. For those who are so worldly in their disposition will always aim for power, will always aim to be the first. And again, another way, another hindrance in our inner disposition. Paano natin ilalagay ang kaharian ng Diyos sa ating kalooban if we always long for worldly fame? Again, human tendency, we seek for recognition. We aim for appreciation. Kailangan natin ipakita sa lahat ang, ng, lahat ng ating kabutihan. And yet, we have to be mindful. We might end up to be so worldly in our motivation. Lalo na ngayon, lahat na lang ng ginagawa. Lagi gusto nating may likes. Pinupost lagi natin sa Facebook. Every day, every day, every day, every hour, we always check on it. Kung ilang likes meron na. You know, today we also celebrate the feast of St. Rock. San Roque. Kung titignan niyo po dito sa loob ng Basilica, nandun po siya, si San Roque. At may kasamang aso. If you are going to look at the life of San Roque, siya po ay taga France, Francese, French na tao. Malapit lang po sa, sa Italy. Then one time at the age of 20 years old, he joined in the pilgrimage to Italy. And unfortunately, he himself caught up with this plague. Siya po'y nagkasakit. Siya po'y nahawa. And then he volunteered to help in taking care of those sick people until finally nahawa nga. But then, ayaw niyang maging, magiging alagain ng kapwa. And so he decided to go into the woods and he decided to stay there for long and to die. Unfortunately, fortunately, sabi ko nga, bakit may aso? May isang aso ang tumulong sa kanya. Nagbibigay sa kanya ng pagkain or even trying to, to heal his wounds. Kaya papansin niyo si San Roque, may aso. At bakit siya naging, siya ang nagiging Patron na mga may sakit, plague or pandemic, dahil nga po siya mismo ay naging katuwang sa Italy sa pagtulong sa mga taong may sakit. Again, you will see from there, gumagawa siya ng kabutihan and yet he doesn't like that people will know about it. So different from today. Ngayon iba. Kunting maliit na bagay lang na ginagawa, pinupost sa Facebook. Sa mass media, gustong ipaalam sa lahat. At mas patindi pa ngayon, hindi lang kabutihan ang nilalagay. Maski mga kab hindi ka kabutihan, hindi ka ayo-ayo, hindi ka ayayang bagay nilalagay sa internet. Kahit yung panglalait sa kapwa, kahit yung sabihin natin nagpapatawa, and yet nilalait naman yung iba. Ngayon, merong naging bago yung nilalait mo yung lola at nanay mo. Pinagtatawanan. Gusto mo bang ipo sa Facebook at pinagtatawanan ng buong bayan yung lola mo? Anong klaseng inner disposition meron yan? Again, Jesus is trying to tell us to form our own inner disposition. Inner disposition 
that will truly help us to enter heaven. And that can only be possible if our inner disposition is truly focused on God. A disposition that is not so materialistic, not so worldly, but disposition that is so sincere and genuine.